Hakagani is a species of crab native to Japan, with a shell that bears a pattern resembling a human face which many believe to be the face of an angry samurai hence the nickname Samurai Crab. It is locally believed that these crabs are reincarnations of the Haika warriors defeated at the Battle of Dan no Ura as told in the tale of the Haika. While the crabs are edible, they are not eaten by Japanese. Heikigani with human-like faces depicted in an ukiyo-e print by Utagawa Kuniyoshi. Heikigani were used by Carl Sagan in his popular science television series Cosmos, a personal voyage as an example of unintentional artificial selection, an interpretation published by Julian Huxley in 1952. According to this hypothesis, the crabs with shells resembling samurai were thrown back to the sea by fishermen out of respect for the Haika warriors, while those not resembling samurai were eaten, giving the former a greater chance of reproducing. Thus, the more closely the crabs resembled a samurai face, the more likely they would be spared and thrown back. This idea has met with some skepticism, as noted by Joel W. Martin. He posits that humans do not use heikagani for food, and as such there is no artificial pressure favoring face like shell patterns, contrary to Sagan's implication. The pattern of ridges on the carapace serves a very functional purpose as sites of muscle attachment. Similar patterns are found on the carapaces of other species and genera throughout the world, including numerous fossil taxa. The Battle of Dan no Ura was preceded by an immense struggle between the imperial rulers of Japan, the Taira clan, who the Heikigani crabs are named after, and the Minamoto clan, who were fighting for control of the throne at the end of the 12th century in the Genpei War. On the 24th of April, 1185 AD, two powerful samurai clans fought to the death on the Dan no Ura Bay of Japan's Inland Sea. The ruling Taira clan was led by their child emperor, Antoku, and his grandmother, Taira no Tokiko. The Haika had ruled Japan for many decades, but now, massively outnumbered, they faced defeat at the hands of the Minamoto. During the battle, Tokiko took the seven-year-old emperor Antoku and leapt with him into the water in the Shimonoseki Straits, drowning the child emperor. Rather than allowing him to be captured by the opposing forces, and most members and generals of the Taira clan followed them in despair. And Toku came to be worshipped as Mizu no Kami. This crucial battle was a cultural and political turning point in Japanese history. Minamoto Yoritomo became the first shogun, or military ruler, of Japan. Dan no Ura marked the beginning of seven centuries during which Japan was ruled by warriors and in shoguns instead of emperors and aristocrats. In Kwaidan, Stories and Studies of Strange Things, the writer, Lofkadio Hearn, references the Haiki Crab in the story of Mimi Nashi Hoichi. In the 1964 Japanese anthology film, Kwaidan, based on Hearn's stories. Hoichi the Earless recounts the story of the Battle of Dan no Ura, which becomes the basis of Hoichi the Earless. The narrator explains the myth, illustrated with prominent footage of the crabs. At the end of the Hoichi the Earless segment, Hoichi is seen playing the lute, with Heikagani on his shoulders. In his 1980 science series Cosmos, A Personal Voyage, Carl Sagan used Heikagani to illustrate artificial selection. British biologist Richard Dawkins discussed the same idea in his 2009 book The Greatest Show on Earth, The Evidence for Evolution. Thanks for watching.